here we are on the road again. And we're just about to come up on a slightly different kind of build. Um, into the jungle on the left there. And... Nope, oh, I didn't want to go in. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Whoa! You've got quite a good jump on you guy. And as always, I end up stuck in here with a horse. Here's the fences. You stay there. Now, it's been a while, I'm not sure that I can remember how I actually oh, see it up there. Um, oh, this is it, I think. I don't know what I called it. Jungle Viewpoint Lodge. Jungle wood. Used for the path. I think there's a ladder. There is a ladder. Good. So, this is a little bit different. Not so much stained clay used in this one. Um, I can't actually remember how. Oh, this isn't very convenient. Wait. Oh, no. Hmm. What happened there? Okay. I thought, where does it go from now? Oh, here we go. Wow, honestly, I'm so lost. Oh, right, yes, I think this is it. It's not very well signposted. <laughs> oh, yep, because there's dirt here, because I extended the height of the tree. Again, and here we go. Um, <laughs> again, there's not very much to it. It literally is just I used locally sourced materials, which in this case was the jungle wood. Uh, you can see the horses, there he is, waiting for us down there. And it's just somewhere for you can have a little look at the view. There's this, there we go. Oh goodness, I did decorate it a little bit. We've got some ferns to see. Ah, it's got signs and stuff. So that's those two are coming up. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't remember doing this. Does it not say? Oh, that's funny. Oh well, I suppose when I made this, I didn't know what was coming next, so I could only signpost back to the stuff that. Um, I'd already made. Oh, there's another level. Ooh, this level's all dreamy. What's this? Climb here for ultimate view. The Great South Trail. Yeah, so I didn't I definitely didn't know what I was going to be building in the future. Is that it? Maybe? Here? Can I get further up? Oh I can't. Oh! I took it all the way to the top. There we go. To be perfectly honest, you probably have to have much, much better internet than me to be able to put it on far and actually get a view. That's as much as you're getting from mine, I'm afraid. Nice little jungle. Bit of a desert. And the, oh, there was so much water to cross when I was building this. It really just did take so long. Um, that's why there's all these little... I mean, they're, they're barely bridges, to be perfectly honest, across lakes and rivers and oceans to try and get to those horses. It's a lot easier to get down than it was to get up. So... I will go back to my trusty horse and meet you at the next one.
Right. This next build, I've got to admit, is a wee bit strange. <laughs> um, I built it here because it was in, it's in the middle. Oh, here it comes. Hmm. <laughs> it's built in the middle of a what was a really big or long stretch of water. Oh no, no, that did not work. Ow, ow! Stop killing me. Let's try that again. Don't know why I'm so so much trouble putting them in. There we go. Oh no, I'm in here. Don't even think about it. Right. <clears throat> so because I was putting it in the middle of this stretch of ocean, I thought I wanted something to be slightly kind of water themed. I don't know why I went for a whale. It was because, um, partly because I wanted to use the new at the time stained clay. Um, and I was quite pleased with it actually because I did it. Uh, I didn't work it out on paper or creative or anything, I just built it and it came out pretty much as it was in my head, so that was I was quite pleased with that. I do remember having to do the eye a couple of times before I was happy with that. Squid you like? No. Oh. Funny door. There we are. <laughs> okay then. Squid You Like Aquarium and Underwater Farm was established in 2013 to investigate the viability of... I don't remember making farms in it. I thought it was just supposed to be a squid viewing thing. Hmm. Still in the experimental stage, we encourage visitors as a means of inquiring, acquiring funding. Hope you see some squids today. Have fun. The squid you like. This is the kind of thing I used to get dragged to by my parents when I was a kid. Wow, that's a lot of sand. Hmm. Okay. I am going to ha jump the turnstile and not pay. I do remember I mean it's not very big. Because of course we're in a survival, so it was a case of uh, filling it with sand and then digging out all of the sand to get all the different things. Oh look, we can see some squid today. Wait, what? Oh my goodness! Well, that kind of fun. <laughs> okay. Um. <gasps> oh wait, I do remember this. You know how we passed a pig, did we? I can't remember if I recorded it. We passed a pig on the way out, and I think there's another one over there. I did notice that when I was building all these wee roads, that some of the animals would just wander out, and I think these guys literally just wandered out. And I do remember I had dug part of the way down, and one of them fell in, and then another fell in, and I was like, what am I going to do with these guys? And eventually they were at the bottom. <laughs> so I put in some fake grass, and that's what that's about. <laughs> Underwater farm, right. I was thinking crops. Hmm. Forgot that even happened. So there you go. My little strange little and um, stranger than I remembered. Um Squid It's not actually a squid build, it's a squid related build. Which looks like a whale. And there we go. Can't remember what happens next. So off we go. There we go. Pig in the path. Okay, so these two are actually closer than I remembered. I get it. I really went crazy with the stained clay. There were just it was just so much fun to use. And I was not 
this was back when it was it was really very new. See? Oh, that's why the horse was tied up. I was having trouble with the horse earlier. And it was because I tied him up and then made him somewhere to stay. Um, which really confused me because I couldn't get I couldn't get him to move away and it was because he was actually tied to the thing. Oh. Um there's not very much to hold on. There's not very much to this one as I recall. It's a little hotel. As you can see, favourite colours are the, the two blues. It's a bit different as in everything is um, accessed by the ladder, no stairs. Little double room. With a bench. That's the roof, isn't it? Yeah. Little twin room. Doesn't get a chair for some reason. And reception, which I find amusing that even for reception you've got to come up the ladder. It actually would be a really nice place to stay this, I think. Little sort of cove coming in, beautiful views. Only you could import stuff from Minecraft to the real world sometimes. Perfect for weekend getaways. I think we're actually starting to reach the point where we're running out of places in the south. Um, there are a couple of little builds and the road to the horses up north as well, but I'll get to them at some point. Um, but that's it for this one. And I think that might be it for this particular video as well. So, goodbye from me. Goodbye from Champion the Wonder Horse. <laughs> and, um... Hopefully, I'll be able to find enough little bits and bobs for the next video. Bye.